Let's talk about problem 57 on page L of Physics 1137, the fifth piece. The problem says how much heat would be released if one kilogram of steam were cooled and converted into a large ice cube. Well, one kilogram is a thousand grams and all of the conversion factors and constants that we're using in this problem relate to grams. So we have to convert one kilogram into grams. <clears throat> so we'll do that first. Now we're going from steam. So you remember that the temperature 100 degrees is where water um, turns into steam. And so that's the same temperature that the steam would turn back into water. So that's going to be the first temperature up here. And then it's going to cool down until it gets to the point of freezing and turning into an ice cube. And that is going to happen at zero degrees. All right. So we have to kind of infer. We kind of know these two facts, but we have to write them down and we're going to use them. And then <clears throat> remember the um, latent heat of vaporization is this 540 so that's how much um, heat has to be pulled out per gram in order to cool it down from steam to water. If we were going the other way, you would have to add that much heat to turn it from liquid water into steam. But we are going from steam down all the way to a solid. So we're going to pull this out. And then once we're in a liquid, um, we just use the 80 to uh, go from liquid to solid. All right. So there's three steps to this problem. First of all, we have to go from steam to liquid. Then we're going to change the temperature of the liquid and cool it down. Once we reach zero, then we go through the phase change to go from liquid to solid ice. So let's take this step right here. We know the mass that's given. All right. LV is given right here. So you are just going to plug in the two numbers, solve for that and then hold on to that number. Now this, SH, remember that is the specific heat, which for water is just one. And the change in temperature is going to be T2 minus T1. So basically 100 degrees. And then times the mass times one. All right, so you get a big number for that. And then we have the mass times LF, which we see is the 80. And you can just plug that in times the mass. So that will give you three amounts of heat that are technically being pulled out. So we're decreasing it. We're pulling that amount of energy out of it. And when you add those three together, you will have the total heat that has to be pulled out. All right, so there's a lot of steps involved in this one. And it's going the opposite direction of the example that they gave in the pace. But um, hopefully by setting it up this way, and then you can go back now and plug in your numbers, uh, you can get the right answer.